Hey, okay, so welcome to today's video review of JetBrains AI Assistance. Okay, and as you can see right here, it says supercharge your tools, embrace new freedom with JetBrains AI, which is your favorite tool, uh, you know, which gains new ability while you are empowered with more information at your fingertips. So free yourself from repetitive tasks and stay in the flow like never before. All right, so this is just like a code assistance, okay and um this is mainly for people who code a lot okay that is why i'm reviewing this tool all right and uh you know we're going to be talking about a brief introduction about the main features of JetBrains ai and also go ahead and talk about some things you need to know and write it up with my honest thoughts regarding this okay so some of the main features of JetBrains ai is the code assistance okay so it helps you to write code snippets all right and also um boilerplate codes okay and in case there is any complex code structure, it also helps you with that, all right? And I've seen several users that have said that they have found this very helpful, okay, for generating Java doc comments and also writing unit tests, all right? So as you can see, right there is the PEG AI assistant in JetBrains IDEs. And um, besides yourself, blah, 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 all right, I'm starting the URL this in this, so I, I wouldn't want to start to go in ahead to, you know, read you the page, all right? But however, this is just what. Um, this page is all about right here although they are you know they are code completion okay is sometimes inaccurate that is what you need to know uh, from my research you know that every of my um, reviews right there is always based on me going ahead out there to make research on all these tools platforms and anything i'm reviewing and coming here to tell you that, okay this is the best for you to know regarding this particular um, um platform that i am reviewing so from my research i've been able to see that some of their code are not always completed okay they are the code completion are not always accurate and um in some cases they also duplicate unnecessary codes okay or they make mistakes in logic for um edge cases okay so um that is another thing you need to know an example can be you know just brains ai providing useful code for json converters okay but they might also miss some validation and edge cases okay so that is a problem with just brains ai but however they are very good okay i want to do but uh, you still need you like it's still going to be needing your own scrutinization whether you need to go ahead and still uh, monitor it very well check it out to see if the codes are well organized okay and also um documentation and naming is also what it does okay i've seen several users also you know recommend it and said just brains ai is good at generating names for methods okay and classes okay and also they have to avoid generic names like maybe xxx manager or xxx service okay so um it's also very effective okay at writing documentation such as um java doc comments just like i said or something like a generic code documentation okay so the reason why i'm able to know a little bit of this is that i've tried you know coding sometimes so as i'm able to know and some of this okay and um an instance of this can be you know um in case you want to use it to write clear concise js docs okay here's the comments in webstorm for javascript development this is very good for you right and also another um, feature that i see about JetBrains ai is the uh you know refactoring and code design okay because i've seen people also appreciate the ai's ability to provide you know suggestions for refactoring code and high level design ideas okay so it can actually break down large functions into smaller and more manageable ones although it may sometimes overlook complex logic or you know edge cases all right and also the ability for you to work flows okay so the JetBrains ai assistance can be a time saver for you know repetitive tasks or using new frameworks or libraries that you know the developer is unfair with so it can suggest best practices or it can also help you outline libraries for specific unused uh, cases and I've seen several users also use the right click AI action menu, okay, for targeted assistance, such as you know, generating units and uh, tests or modifying build uh, configurations, all right. So, that is the things you need to know. And um, another point that uh, the feature that it has also is code explanation and learning, so it can help you with, um, you know, it can help you to explain code snippets in plain language and also helping you as a developer to understand complex logic or unfamiliar uh, code bases, okay. So this feature is particularly useful for onboarding new team members. In case you have a new team member, it's very useful for onboarding uh, new team members uh, or when you are working with um, legacy code. Okay. And another feature it has is um, code refactoring and suggestion. 
So the assistance helps you with suggesting improvements for any code structure and also readability and maintainability. Okay, so it offers automated refactoring options like uh, you know renaming variables or you know methods and optimizing inputs. Okay, so this kind of ensure uh, the code adheres to the best practices and also style um, guides. Okay, another important um, feature that it has is also automated uh, code generation. Okay, so um, beyond simple completion, the AI also assists um, you to generate uh, you know boilerplate codes such as constructors, um, getter, setters, and also test cases. So this can help in generating repetitive code structures, uh, which speeds up the development um, processes. So those are the features that I have for you regarding this. And the last one I have here is just the context aware error detection and also fixes. Okay. So the AI assistant provides real-time error detection with context aware suggestions to fix issues. Okay. So it can identify potential bugs. That's just what it means. It helps you to identify potential bugs, security vulnerabilities, or maybe performance bottlenecks in the code and also offer immediate solutions to resolve them. So these are the features that helps to enhance productivity and code quality, which makes some guys doing AI uh, assistant a very valuable tool for a lot of developers out there. Okay, but if we are to compare these two with several other tools out there like ChatGPT, GitHub, and a few others, then what do we stand to expect? Well, with ChatGPT, I'm gonna say, you know, even why um, JetBrains AI provides contextual help with the IDE, well, ChatGPT is often praised for generating high quality code snippets, okay, and also detailed explanations, uh, especially whenever you're dealing with new frameworks or conceptual questions. So, um, uh, one thing about um, this is that it requires copying and pasting code into the IDV, which can also disrupt workflow. Okay, so uh, comparing to GitHub Copilot, uh, well, Copilot generally they have um, better code completion and also they are more consistent with suggestions. So um, they also integrate well with some IDEs like Visual Studio. But however, some users um, from my research have preferred JetBrains AI to for its you know deeper integration with JetBrains IDE and also contextual understanding of the um, code base. Okay, so um, several users have asked, um, you know, they have mixed feelings regarding JetBrains AI assistance from my research. Okay, so um, you know, some finding very helpful for specific tasks like you know Java doc comments or renaming conventions. Okay, and also why others find its suggestions um, less reliable. Okay, compared to several other alternatives. Okay. So the utility of JetBrains AI it depends on the specific use case and also the you know your own workflow. Okay, it depends on your own workflow and um, because several people find it to be a valuable assistant that saves time and effort, why a few others say it's less useful compared to its competitors like ChatGPT or uh, you know Copilot. Because it depends on you. Okay, but my own conclusion is just that. Um, JetBrains AI assistance can be helpful too for a lot of developers out there. Okay, particularly if you are those who, you know, if you are among those who, who use of JetBrains IDEs. Okay, and um, however, it is very the you know the effectiveness can vary on the task and users and, and your whole need. Okay, so um, I'm gonna encourage a lot of viewers to try JetBrains AI for themselves. Okay, especially if you are looking for an integrated coding assistance within JetBrains products. But um, I also suggest evaluating against other tools like GitHub, Copilot, or ChatGPT to maybe find the best fit for your workflow. Okay, so this is what I have for you in today's video. And in case you have an experience with JetBrains AI, you can let us know in the comment box and find out it will help a lot of people out there to also make the best decision out there. Okay, thank you very much for your time. And um, this is what I have for you regarding JetBrains AI. Till another time, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.